Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Tom the Collector here, and here uh, we are back with another Marvel Legends figure review. And right here we have the Marvel's Mystique figure. Um, so, I've been looking for it, and I found it at Walmart, at Target, I mean today. So, uh, we've seen this box before. So, we get the X black exit logo with the uh, yellow lining now all the way through there, and then we get another X logo with just a gold lining with the Marvel Legends logo there, Marvel Legends logo there, and then Marvel's Mystique with the white highlight there. Here's Mystique's silhouette with the white eyes. Same deal on the other side and then the other side. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack her open. And here she is on the packaging. So she does come with some accessories. So she comes with... Uh, another fist of hand. She has two of them. She's wearing one of them right now. So they did a good job on the paint here and the texturing with the scales. So that's really cool. They did a good job. And then they have a relaxed hand for her. Same deal. Nice scaly hands. And a nice blue fur. Uh, and then the next one, she has a full arm, which I will display her with. Um, but a relaxed hand. Um with regular person hand i guess civilian hand and then you could see that the scales kind of roll up so it kind of it gives it that effect that she's transforming into someone else so that's really cool i like this a lot um and then here's mystique here and if you couldn't tell it's not the jennifer lawrence one it's the original one i don't remember the actor's name but she's she was mystique for x1 x2 and i believe x3 yeah um, but they did a good job with her. It looks a lot like her. They did a good job on the scales on the face too. The hair looks very accurate. Nice and straight and a little curled up at the end there. Um, nice red hair. They got a little bit of black wash going through there too. To give it that little depth. And then you get scales all along her arms here. I like the blue that they used here. Looks a lot. It, it's basically the right color for her. Uh, they did a really good job on the scaling part. No legs here. It's really cool. And they use two, like, I think they, they use uh, darker blue here, and then they would use blue uh, lighter for, like, the parts that aren't scaled. So that's cool. And, yeah. They did a good job with this. I like it a lot. Um, and then, yeah, you get the regular feet. She has no socks or shoes or anything like that. So, um, they did a good job with her. So, let's go over articulation here. So, her head can move down that far. She has the disc and ball joint. She can look up just that much. Her hair kind of restricts it from going up. Actually, does she have that ball joint? Disc and ball joint? Uh oh Uh, well, that answers my question. It's not a disc and ball joint. Let's see if I can pop that thing back in. That's not good. Okay. I guess don't do that with your mystique figures. Don't pop off the heads. Um, but yeah, I guess that's the only problem that I have with it. The ball just came right out of her neck. I think it's in all the way. But yeah, uh, that could be a little bit of a problem. But she does get left and right movement. It's a little loose now after I did that. Uh, and then some head pivoting, a lot actually. So that's cool. Uh, you get your arms way, way past 90 degrees there. You get 360 rotation around the shoulder. She has single jointed elbows, so pretty close to 90 degrees, I think. Might be a little over 90 degrees. And you get 360 rotation around that. Her wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation there. She has a diaphragm joint, so she can bend forward just that much, not a whole lot, and then backwards a bit, 
same deal not a whole lot she can go to the side just a little the other side a little bit more i think maybe uh, and then you get 360 rotation around there too uh she could kick out just that far she could kick forward a bit uh, quite a bit i mean uh she could kick backwards just a little i mean more than normal amount i guess uh she has a thigh cut she has double jointed knees so that's good uh, and then your ankles can hinge down that far up that far a nice ankle pivot for uh, other arm you just probably want to i guess pop i've never done this before so i really hope i don't break her by doing this which one is it yeah it's this one if i can don't break it don't break it I'm so scared because I don't like the single jointed elbows and if I slip, I think I'm gonna break it. So there we go, we popped her arm off there. And then just pop this bad boy in there, bam. That's my first time actually doing that because I know that the Pepper Potts one does something like this, but I don't have her yet. So yeah, this arm has the same deal um, with the joints and stuff. So single jointed elbows. I wish they had double jointed again, but I think the arms are a little too skinny for pins. So yeah. Um, but I think she uh, comes with a good amount of accessories and she looks really good. They do a really good job on the paint apps. I just feel like, I guess I don't like the ball, uh, double ball joints. That's the problem with me, I guess. But she could look down. So, I mean, it's not a big problem for me and she wouldn't be able to look up that much anyways because of her hair, so. I'm not really mad about that. It's, I'm not into it with other figures, but for this one, it's okay. Um, but yeah, they came with a bunch of really cool accessories for her. Um, they did a good job in the paint apps, the texturing, the scales and stuff like that. They did a really good job. I don't really have that many. I don't have any complaints besides the ball joint, but it's okay for her. So, um, and then the single uh, single jointed elbows. I wish they could do double jointed, but oh well. Um, but yeah, really cool figure. I like her a lot. Um, but besides that, that's all I've got. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also getting more games uh, to do reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it, um, more camera, better camera equipment, uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, I, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.